Hey y'all, Irix Guy here, and I wanted to provide everyone with a little bit of 2014 Christmas drone buyer's advice. So, you may be in the dark, you're probably really in the dark, if someone on your Christmas list said, hey, I want a drone. Number one, you probably don't know anything about drones, and if you do, once you start researching, it's going to get a lot more complicated. So I'm going to simplify this for everyone. And you can check the link within this video's description to find the drones that I'm talking about. You can order them, the accessories, etc. And if you can't find what you're looking for, feel free to contact me directly by way of irixguy.com or my Facebook fan page, facebook.com forward slash irixguy. But I'm going to make this as simplistic as possible, and then I'll reference the individual drone versions that we're talking about. So inevitably the most popular drone in the market today is called the DJI Phantom. Now fortunately the Phantom has been out for a while so there's several different tiers from a price perspective, feature perspective, etc. So the the least expensive from a dollar perspective would be the uh, the DJI Phantom. That's the one that you'll find within this video's description. It's, it's likely the uh, the least expensive one listed there. Now to talk about what the Phantom 1 will do, it behaves just like the bigger Phantoms. Phantom 2's, and, and we're going to talk about those in a minute, but, and you can attach a camera to it, but keep in mind if you attach that camera, that's an additional purchase you're going to have to make. You're going to have to buy a GoPro. GoPro ranges, uh, Go, GoPro cameras range in price, you can check out my other video where I put together a GoPro buyer's advice video and find details there as well as contact me directly and I'll try my best to answer. But if you just want to fly it, if you don't care about having uh, photos and or video from the sky, you can fly the DJI Phantom 1 without a camera attached. It's a real, it's a lot of fun to fly. And actually, if you're not sure that whomever you're buying this Phantom 4 is going to like it, that may be the best way to go. It would be the least dollars out of pocket, and it would uh, provide the person with the opportunity to determine do they like it, and if so, then maybe they choose to purchase a GoPro themselves, or, or maybe they choose to sell that one and upgrade to the bigger ones that we're about to talk about. But, but yeah, that's, that's your least, uh, least expensive entry would be the DJI Phantom 1. And again, you can find that. Look within this video's description. You can find the link and you'll find a link there to where you can find the uh, Phantom 1. Now we're going to jump to the Phantom 2. Phantom 2 is going to offer better battery life. It is a little bit more expensive. Now, there's several different uh, options here. You can get the Phantom 2 that doesn't have what's called the gimbal, but you don't even want to consider that. Because if you're in Phantom 2 territory, you're going to want to go Phantom 2 with the uh, Zenmuse gimbal. And the best way to explain this, and this is for someone that wants to uh, that wants to film from the sky and have it look really smooth. So, and if they already have a GoPro, this may be your least least expensive way to go, because they can attach their GoPro to it. So the Phantom 2 with the Zenmuse gimbal, if you're flying a Phantom 1, for example, the one we talked about previously, if you did attach a camera to it, when the craft turns, the camera turns. So the result is that if you've ever filmed with a camcorder, it's going to kind of look like that. It's going to tilt as the craft flies and tilts. Now the Zenmuse gimbal, as the craft tilts, the camera does not. So it, it maintains a, uh, a horizontal alignment with the horizon. So the end result is that if you're using this to capture video and or photos, the quality is going to be optimal. But keep in mind, you do have to bring your own GoPro. That doesn't come with it. Now, if you don't have a GoPro and you just want an all-in-one package that's really going to knock your socks off, get the DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus. Now, I've got two of those linked within this video's description. The first one is the original Phantom 2 Vision Plus, the one that I use. It's great. They just came out with Phantom 2 version, uh, Phantom 2 
This is why it's confusing, all this stuff runs together. But when you check the link within this video's description, it'll all make more sense. But if you get the Phantom 2 Vision Plus version 3, which at the time of posting this video was recently announced, it's going to give you rechargeable batteries in the controller, more powerful motors on the Phantom. And it also, uh, let's see, what else does it do? It does the, uh, oh, it's got a battery indicator, battery status indicator on the controller. And there's also a toggle on the controller where you can tilt the camera up and down. And what's cool about this with the Phantom 2 Vision Plus or the one that's a little bit more expensive, the Phantom 2 Ver Vision Plus version 3, both, both of which you can find within this video's description, you get an app. So if you have an iPad or, a, uh, or an Android tablet or an iPhone, an Android phone, you can download this app. It's called the DJI Vision app and you see what it sees. So when you're flying it and you look down at the remote, you see what the uh, Phantom sees. It's like you're in the cockpit. That's called FPV, first person view. Now if you get the, jumping back to what we were talking about previously, the Phantom 2 with Zenmuse gimbal, if you get that, you're not gonna get the FPV, the first person view. So you're gonna be flying it and looking at it to see what you're filming. Whereas with the Phantom 2 Vision Plus, or the Phantom 2 Vision Plus version 3, you see what it sees, and that's optimal for, uh, for filming uh, videos and or taking still photos. Now keep in mind, if you got the Phantom 2 with Zenmuse gimbal, you could add add-ons to it and enable FPV, but it's likely going to cost a lot more than the Phantom 2 Vision Plus or Phantom 2 Vision Plus version 3, because those out of the box are good to go. Charge them up, familiarize yourself with that owner's manual, and hit the field. I mean, that's what I like about the Phantom 2 Vision Plus. Now keep in mind, I'm the type of guy I like to build my own computers. But I don't do that anymore because I've switched to Mac. I haven't gotten lazy. I've just gotten to where I like things that work. And in this scenario, if I was buying myself another drone today, I would buy the DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus. Now, not to, uh, not to jump away from DJI. Keep in mind, DJI is arguably, and in my opinion, is without a doubt the premier drone brand. There is a new drone, and in the past, this drone has been a toy. And I don't, at the time of posting this, I don't have the link for it, but as soon as it becomes available, I'll share the link, but it's called the Parrot Bebop. And it's kind of a, uh, it's, it comes in at two price points. There's a less expensive one that you just control with your iPhone or your iPad, and there's a more expensive one that you control with what's called the Sky Controller. So there's two price points available for the Parrot Bebop. In my professional opinion, having not flown the Parrot Bebop yet, I can tell you that the Phantom 2 Vision Plus is awesome, and I know that the Phantom 2 Vision Plus version 3 is even better because you get those small enhancements. That would be my personal recommendation. If money's not an object, Phantom 2 Vision Plus version 3. If you want to save a few hundred or, or whatever amount it may be at the time of, uh, of checking that, if you want to save a little bit of money, Phantom 2 Vision Plus. Just the original, not the version 3. If you've already, if you don't care about first person view, but the person that you're buying it for wants to be able to film video, video and or photos from the sky, that look very smooth thanks to that gimbal, that Zenmuse gimbal. Get the Phantom 2 with Zenmuse. Keep in mind, they're not going to have FPV. They're not going to see what it sees without adding costly add-ons. And if you just want to test the waters, maybe not spend a lot, maybe not even attach a GoPro to it, but if you do, be prepared that it's not going to have the gimbal out of the box. So it would just be GoPro attached and it would, you know, it wouldn't be optimal. Uh, I mean, it'd still be cool. And you can check out my videos here on youtube.com forward slash irixguy. I've filmed hundreds of videos with the Phantom 1 without a gimbal, and also with the Phantom 2 Vision Plus with the integrated DJI camera gimbal, etc. I mean, it, <laughs> when you watch the Phantom 2 Vision Plus videos, you will be stoked. So this is a high level summary. I hope this helps. And again, check the link within this video's description. I put everything there. And if you do buy this for a Christmas gift, I would, I would strongly recommend 
buying a few extra batteries. Keep in mind, if you buy the Phantom 1, it's a different type of battery than what you use with the Phantom 2 or the Phantom 2 Vision Plus. The Phantom 2 Vision Plus and the Phantom 2, they use the same battery, the same type of battery. And also, you may want to get a carrying case. You may want to get a car charger. I've got all kinds of accessories listed. If you go to uh, the link within this video's description, you can find all of that. If you can't find it, again, shoot me a message directly. I'll do my best to answer. Now, one final thing, if you're a professional, and I'm talking, you're buying this for a serious videographer or, or, or budget's not an issue and you don't care what you spend, check out the DJI Inspire One that's also linked within this video's description. That thing films, whereas the other ones did 1080p high definition, the DJI Inspire One films 4K ultra high definition video. And when it flies, the legs lift up, so it's got a 360 degree camera view. Now that's the really high tech one, but if budget's not an issue, check it out. I mean, it is awesome. I haven't even got my hands on it yet, but I mean, that's, that's how awesome and expensive it is, is that I don't have it and <laughs> I'm still saying it's awesome. But that's the, that's the extreme example if you're buying for a uh, professional or, or money's not an issue for you. So thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe, youtube.com forward slash irixgaff. And y'all have a good day and uh, happy holidays.